Good morning, folks. Lots to discuss today, including a sun-diving comet setting off a plasma filament on our star, news and weather around the world as well. Over at the left side, we can see incoming plasma filaments and some small activity, but that's a couple days away, so we come to spaceweathernews.com and find out what happened already on the Earth-facing portion of the sun. Small pops to the left, but the big filament departing to the right lifted and snapped out into space. You can see it better zoomed in on that area here. The CME data is missing for another few hours, but we do know that a sun-diving comet preceded this destabilization. No chance this one survived perihelion. And as always, folks, coronagraph images are cut during either big CMEs or sun-diving comets. This time we had both, so the missing frames aren't exactly a shocker. Solar flaring, not doing as well as the filaments, despite a short rise in activity that has plateaued now as the sunspots turn towards the limb. Next area to watch for sunspots is cresting now into view. Good size and magnetism there. Solar wind here. The coronal hole stream hasn't impacted yet, but the magnetic sector boundary out ahead of it certainly did. When the blue phi angle begins twisting around, stability evacuates the other telemetry in favor of more variation. We've got localized disruptions all over, but globally, the magnetosphere is holding up quite well. That coronal hole split is very visible now, leading portion to the right set out the solar wind, and this trailing canyon of magnetic power will face Earth just as the CMEs from last night couple with our planet. While we should be seeing another big quake before the weekend, the most interesting of the last day was a four-pointer in Iceland that hit the Katla volcano, largest since 1977. Remember folks, Katla is the bad one, it has now gone on alert, and it usually goes off shortly after Ayayefayoko, which did its thing back in 2010. We're at the tropics, and there are systems that have the states surround it. The East Pacific is watching two major hurricanes heading right at Hawaii. Landslide and local earthquake warnings rise as well. And although the sun is calm and the track of the Gulf system remains confident, the longitudinal coupling and phi angle shift in the solar wind is pulling some models west. Eyes open for more. Top article today is a fun little read for those of you who love when the experts don't exactly know what's going on. NASA can't figure out if this star is past its prime and in retirement, or if it's a proto-star and hasn't even got started yet. That makes for a pretty fun little article to read. Not so fun is what happened in Colorado last night. Great googly moogly, that is a lot of hail and resulting flooding. Folks, if you helped found the disaster prediction app on Kickstarter, your t-shirts and hoodies should be getting out to you. Still waiting on 15 people for the addresses and the shirt sizes, but can't wait forever and we've got some extras. Tomorrow's news will have a segment at the end detailing what to do if you didn't get yours yet, what to do if you want to become a founder of the app, and what to do if you just want a simple t-shirt. App is still on the way. That's tomorrow. As for today, Billy's latest in the lab is offering tremendous insights into how energy moves through our planet. Hopefully I'll get a deeper look out about it today or tomorrow. We've got a world of weather on the wind map followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.